From subatomic particles to galaxies, stars, planets, and all life, all life, all life, all life, all life. All life. A big welcome, this is PsyCast episode 3 and today I'm broadcasting from Japan. After quite a long journey I arrived here at the Sunshine Festival, which is around 3 hours west of Tokyo in an absolutely amazing, beautiful nature resort on top of the mountains. We just heard the first track, this was Akasha, my collaboration with Volcano, which just came out a few days ago and went straight on number one of the Beatport Psytrance charts. Later on I will speak with Magic and also with Regan from Nano Records. They are both with me here and play at the festival. And then I will speak with DJ Hatta from Tokyo. He's owner of Grasshopper Records and I really had a lot of fun dancing to his DJ sets in the past already. So I'm super happy that he will provide the DJ guest mix for this episode. So great you tuned in here with me. Let me take you on a journey into Japanese psychedelic trance. This is Electric Universe Psycast.
This is the brand new Xerox and Volcano track called Are You Nuts that came out last week on Sacred Technology. So let us talk a little bit about the Japanese psychedelic trance scene. Japan has been one of the main hubs for psychedelic trance parties around 10 years ago. There have been massive productions every weekend, there's been super big parties and then all of a sudden the whole thing stopped here. The reason for this, as much as I could find out, is that the authorities really came in, stopped the parties, arrested people and managed over time to completely destroy the scene, which I find really tough. So it's really amazing to see that the trance scene is kind of starting, slowly picking up again. And we have here a really amazing festival with around 1,000 people going on. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I have the honor of doing the closing set. And now we're gonna listen to the next track. This is Space Tribe and Striker Clunk Click. you click.
Okay, so now I'm here with Magic and um, how was your set here at Sunshine Festival, this edition? Hello everyone, uh, yeah, this is my, it's been my second time uh, Sunshine Festival, I was here last year, you know, this year is even better and bigger and yeah, just better on every level, it's just, you know, Japanese crowd is amazing and uh, we all love Japanese and uh, yeah, it was a rocking set, I loved it, every bit of it. How you perceive the Psytrance people in Japan? One of the best crowds in the world, I have to say, you know, they just party like there's no tomorrow. The energy on the dance floor was absolutely amazing. It's just, you know, it's really hard to describe. Just a ball of energy. When I finished my set, I was just buzzing for another, you know, another the rest of the day, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the same here, the same here. I mean, what I really enjoyed here, they really love the full on parts of blasting energies. Yeah, they just totally get it here, you know. They really understand the, the psychedelic music and, and, yeah, just go nuts to it, really. One of the, of the best sets I played this year, for sure. Yeah, this uh, I totally agree on that one. A few weeks ago, you've been in Berlin and uh, you came to my studio and we did this amazing track together. Oh, yeah, I had a great time in the studio with you, Boris. And the track has been working really well. You know, it's been it's been a highlight of my set. We, we did the basic backbones of the track and then we passed it on to the outsiders in Israel and they give their polishing and um, some of their magic to it. And yeah, it came out on Nanoreco on the 10th of September. It's been going really well on charts, you know. Yeah, so thank you very much uh, for your time. It was really super fun to hang out with you here. Pleasure, pleasure talking to you, Boris. And uh, now we're going to listen to the track. It's Outside the Universe and Magic uh, 4D World. Cheers, thank you. Bye-bye.
almost like a distortion of the reality there, like the what I was saying was no longer like a 3D world, it became like a 4D world, which it was like time and space was bad.
We just heard the latest Magic release. It's a remix from Three of Life's track Disorder and it came out on Nanomega, a collaboration between Nano and Omega Records. You are listening to Electric Universe SciCast. This is a brand new Shiva Tree track. It's Shiva Tree together with Modus. The track is called Affected. It's not out yet. It's coming on the Serbian label Tesseract Studio in November. Check it out.
right, uh, now I'm here with Regan, head and mastermind of Nano Records. Hey, Regan. Hey, hello, hello. In our conversations in the last days, I learned that you love Japan at least as much as I do. Absolutely. It's, um, it's actually the first place outside of Africa that I ever got to perform as a DJ. So it holds a very special place for me. Um, my daughter's got a Japanese name because the place is just so important to me. Um, I just love the people and the culture and just the general atmosphere here. It's amazing. In terms of the parties as well, the, the vibe has always been amazing. It was used to come a lot years and years ago and then it kind of slowed down and so it's great to be back after so many years. And uh, this party that we just played at now, uh, Sunshine Festival, what a lovely family of, of people involved. It was such a pure crowd here. Huh? Yeah, pure wow. is a good way, yeah. a good way to put it. Yeah. A pure crowd, yeah. really right, full of spirit, great energy, clean, just going for it. Yeah, um, yeah it doesn't really get better than that. Um, maybe you have any special particular Japan story you'd like to share? Um, I have a story, yeah, from... Oh God, I must have been around 2004. We were working with a group called Mother in Japan. They were doing big trance parties back then. And they did a, essentially a label party for us for Nano. And they named the party Acrobatics, was, which was kind of a, a bad omen, actually. <laughs> as honored as you were okay, about the name, okay. um, it, it brought the rain. It really brought the rain. And when it came to the final set, I was playing the closing set. I don't know, a couple of thousand people, maybe 3,000 people at the party. And it was, the party had gone amazing well. But as I started to play, the rain got to another level. It was just the heavens opened. It was buckets of rain. And it rained so hard that they, they had to shut the or close the stage off. So suddenly I was in this plastic geodesic bubble <laughs> with thousands of people in front of me oh. and on the stage all the crew, all the artists and a whole bunch of other people suddenly we had a party about 50 40 people on stage going crazy just like playing in a little club kind of like the boiler room these days <laughs> yeah, okay, on, okay. On, you know, see on YouTube all the time these are outside with thousands of people dancing so every now and again in a little breakdown in the track I'd run up stick my head outside the dome <laughs> wave at everyone Whoa, get a big chair and That's, then run back and it was quite exactly. weird you're playing and you realize that there's people still going but it didn't stop anyone the energy yeah. remained the same wow. we were all in together and, and it was I will never forget that moment oh, it's super fun <laughs> okay wow thank you so much for your time really great to hang out with you here yes Boris it's been such a pleasure hanging out mate really good yeah. and thanks for the interview so nice little touch to the end of this journey okay all right thanks man bye pleasure bye. bye and now we're gonna listen to the latest nano release this is Tristan and the track's called Summer Solstice
Tristan and his new release Summer Solstice and now for the first time we will have a little winning contest here on PsyCast. We give away three Electric Universe t-shirts made by Public Beta. They are fully psychedelic, blacklight active. You can also order them directly at publicbetawear.com. Um, we have male and female, we have all sizes and what I like to hear from you is your favorite Electric Universe track. Just write me an email to psycast at electricuniverse.eu and win one of three Electric Universe shirts. The winners will be announced in the next episode. And now it's time for the classic track of the 90s. This time I chose a track that I produced together with DJ Sangeet in Hamburg. Uh, it was around 1996 when it came out on a Japanese label from DJ Tsuyoshi. Uh, this is Matsuri Records in Tokyo. And um, yeah, it's 22 years old, this track. It was a super big hit back in those days. The project name is Endora and the track is called Joy. Classic track of the 90s. teleporting back into the present day and even a little bit further into the future it's time for the unreleased track of the episode this time i will play my next release electric universe the track is called dragonfly i played this for quite a while it's definitely one of the highlights in my set it's also included in my guest mix that i made for psy nation radio uh, it was really nice to be invited by liquid soul and ace ventura to their podcast show so check out my guest mix there a one hour electric universe dj mix And now we're going to listen to Electric Universe Dragonfly.
now I'm here with um, Hatta, DJ Hatta. He's the owner of Grasshopper Records. Uh, I would really like to welcome you to the um, Japanese edition of Psycast. Um, please tell us a little bit about the current state of the psychedelic trance scene in Japan. Okay. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Hatta from Grasshopper Records. Uh, yes, now we are getting better more. So, yes. Yeah. So, sorry, sorry, but are getting better actually. Yes. You have been performing at festivals all over the world. Which were your favorite this year? Uh, my most favorite festival was Ozora. Okay. Uh, I'm playing uh, every year, so I'm just I'm lucky guy. Yes. But uh, when I went to uh, Euro Festival, yes. so I was so surprised. Everything was different. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so. Right. So it's like a tribe so yes. around the world. Also. You are the chief and owner of Grasshopper Records. Uh, tell us a little bit about your label and your artists. Uh, yes, uh, I'm making uh, Grasshopper Records and uh, my label mate is like uh, Siron. Uh, he just playing now. Ah, yes. Yeah, also uh, Spectra Sonics and the Group Box and oh, the yes. Rock, yes. Yeah, and more. Also, it's not only Japanese artists, it's like more uh, European people. Belgium yes. uh, is Lisa. Okay. And uh, yes. uh, France is uh, Algorica. Okay. And Brazil is Space Vision, and Mexico is uh, Asha Command. Oh, wow. Um, so you have so, a really international roster on your label. Yes. And uh, finally, uh, I make an outdoor party. Oh, really? Yes. In Japan? In Japan, it's next month. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, amazing. It's so good to see that Japan outdoor parties are happening again. Yes. Yes, I was really missing that. Wow, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I also really appreciate you give us a very amazing set for the music mix of this episode. Uh, tell us a little bit about the music you will play. I will put uh, some Grasshopper records and, and my favorite artist. Oh, excellent. Okay, thank you so much and uh, great for having you here. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> Arigato. Arigato. So this was PsyCast episode 3 and I hope you enjoyed our little trip to Japan. And we will now have um, the amazing DJ set from DJ Hata. I really love this crazy psychedelic set. Uh, it's only music from Japan, all Japanese artists. Um, yes, I hope you enjoyed the show. We will have the next episode broadcasting from Brazil. I wish you all the best. May all beings in all worlds find peace and be free from suffering. Electric Universe Psycast. Continuous mix of the episode. Turn up the volume. The volume.
Which of you possesses the most powerful, dangerous, and subversive trait of natural selection has ever devised? It's a piece of neural audio technology for rewiring other people's minds. I'm talking about your language, of course, because it allows you to implant a thought from your mind directly into someone else's mind, and they can attempt to do the same to you without either of you having to perform surgery. Instead, when you speak, you're actually using a form of telemetry, not so different from the remote control device for your television. It's just that whereas that device relies on pulses of infrared light, your language relies on pulses, street pulses of sound. Just as you use the remote control device to alter the internal settings of your television to suit your mood, you use your language to alter the settings inside someone else's brain to suit your interest.
And the interesting thing is that Earth is the only place we know of that has life. 8.7 million species. Available on all planets. 